What's up everybody, it's your boy, Chief S Statue Collector here, and today I'm reviewing the Shiva and Ezekiel diorama. Uh, Walking Dead, if you don't know. Um, uh, this statue is, the characters are based off of the comic book version, not the TV show. Um, this is very epic. Um, like these always look smaller in picture, and when I get them in hand, they're much bigger than I actually think they are. Uh, hopefully I have space to put this with the other four dioramas of The Walking Dead that I have. Right now, this is one of my favorites. Um, this, the Rick Grimes and Michonne, are two, those are my, these are probably my top three statues. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into the review. Let's start with the price point. Um, because prices keep going up higher and higher. Uh, this is $329. No taxes when you end up ordering on their website and free shipping. $329 out the door. You can't beat this. You really can't beat this. Uh, and the amount of, there's more detail in this statue than there is a Sideshow Premium Format statue. Sorry, but that's the facts. You can't beat this price, bro. For what you get, you cannot beat this. So I'm so glad I kept uh, with this line. When I first, my first statue that I picked up was the Rick Grimes statue. I thought I was going to try to flip it make some money I'm happy that I didn't flip it I'm happy I didn't you know make an extra three hundred dollars you know I spend a couple more dollars but I've got a nice collection and it's really awesome um, so without further ado let's move on to the next uh, category the next thing that I want to talk about is the pose now the pose is awesome I wish there were a little bit more zombies but I think there's a lot going on here, right? There's at least one, two, three, four, five zombies on this statue. Uh, one's being eaten by Shiva. One's being, one's head is actually coming off of its body. And the other head, the other statue, the other zombies are just being piled up on the back. So tons of detail in the base. The pose is really cool. Uh, Shiva looks awesome in this pose, and Ezekiel looks like the king that he is. Uh, he's very majestic, and I love the belly. I love, like, you know, I, I love it that uh, he's not, you know, the ideal male character, right? He, he's, a, he's a human. Um, so, you know, the pose gets an A-plus for me. It, it's, it's very awesome. It's, you know, it's kind of like... A museum type museum type pose mixed with a little bit of action in it right so it's very iconic it's very cool a plus you know what I mean for sure on this pose uh, so the next thing I want to talk about is the paint apps and the sculpt details right the paint apps are really really good a tiger the tiger's got a lot of shading in the orange it's definitely has a lot of red where the blood meets um, the eyes are painted, which is cool. There's no decals, everything's painted. Uh, the tiger's basic, right? But they nailed it, they, they got it. They did it correct. They did it correctly. The zombies, again, are a gray-black, which uh, matches all their other zombies. And let's talk about Ezekiel, because I think he probably has the best paint apps. Um, you know, he's got regular jackets and boots. That's, there's nothing too special about that. but. Uh, he's got a really cool starred button up and what's really amazing or what's really good I think is the portrait the portrait is awesome it's awesomely painted he's got feathers in the back of his hair uh, he's got beads in his hair his hair is turning white so his dreadlocks are, are a mixture of white and black it's really cool I think uh, it's one of their best portraits that they have, besides the Rick Grimes portrait. Uh, it, it's, it's one of my favorite. I really like it. He's a really cool character. And also, on the back here, I thought maybe there was like a little bit of dust back here, or a little bit, a little bit of styrofoam. But it's really, it's just weathering on the jacket. So, you know, as it gets towards the end bottom of the jacket, it's a little bit more darker. Of a brown and it's a little bit more beat up as well so the last thing I want to talk about are the sculpt details now 
There's tons of little details in this statue, especially when it comes to the zombies. I think in the front and the bottom, the zombie's eyes popping out of his head and rolling down his cheek. Uh, it's really cool. Obviously, uh, the zombies themselves have a lot of wrinkles and details in them. Uh, they look old and dead. It's really cool. Shiva definitely has a lot of details in her. Uh, it's real. What I really like about Shiva is her whiskers. The whiskers are actually, I think, rubber or plastic. So they are bendable, so you can't, you won't break them. They're not molded. The details on uh, Ezekiel are definitely his dreads and his accessories inside of his hair. The feathers are badass. <laughs> and so are the beads. Um, I think he also has a nose piercing as well. So there's a lot of little details in his face. His beard is a big bushy beard. Uh, it looks really cool, you guys. Um, he's got necklaces on. He's His button-up star shirt is very detailed and very, very colorful. Uh, so you guys, this statue is a win. Um, altogether. The only thing that uh, people might be upset with is that they, uh, Ezekiel and Shiva, Ezekiel and Shiva might not be the most popular characters in The Walking Dead. Um, some people might want to see different type of characters for this, <clears throat> for this line, but I think he's a awesome choice and uh, this is definitely one of my favorite Walking Dead statues that I have. Um, anyone that's a Walking Dead fan, anyone that's collecting these statues, go pick this up. I don't think it's sold out yet. Like I said, $3.29. You can't beat it. No shipping, no tax. Go get it if you are thinking about getting a piece like this. Um, this one is top tier compared to the older ones. Uh, it's easier to assemble. I think it's got the better paint apps and the better uh, details on some of the zombies. Um, there's not too many zombies. There's a lot, of, uh, but... There are enough, and you got two main characters on one statue. So I'm pretty happy with you guys. Uh, before my voice gives out, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Thank you guys. Uh, remember to like and sub and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for supporting me and keeping up with my channel and giving me uh, props and you know, let me know what you guys think. I love what, to hear what you guys think, and uh, thanks. Peace.